Hey, Tony here. Today I'm doing an unwrapping of the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook set for Jurassic World, so stick around. So I received my order for Jurassic World. This right here is a Best Buy exclusive 6 film collection. Here's the front and the side, the back, and all the details. If you'd like to read up on it, check out these bonus content. You can go ahead and pause and do so. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the wrapper and we can take a close look at this still book set. Okay, got the wrapper off. I've removed the J card. We'll set it aside. So what we have is this really glossy container that houses all of the still books. It is an embossed container. So all of this right here is embossed, which is nice. And here's the back. And the other side, no embossing on this. And then again, the top. And then nothing on the bottom. So let's show you each of these steelbook cases. So first up we have Jurassic Park. Beautiful looking artwork there. No embossing or debossing on these. Nothing on the back other than just the Jurassic Park logo. Um, it does come with all the different codes. It comes with one code for all the films. And then we have this certificate here. Um, showing that it is a numbered um, collection, which is nice. And then we have our two disc. We have our 4K disc here with some disc art. And then our Blu-ray disc with no disc art other than the logo. And then we have some inside artwork. Okay. okay next up we have the Lost World Jurassic Park. Here's the front. In the back, inside we have our two disc. We have disc art on the 4K release and no disc art on the Blu-ray release. But we do have some inside artwork, so very nice. Okay, next up we have Jurassic Park 3. Great looking artwork there. Then the back. We open it up, we have our two discs, here's the front and the back together. We have our two discs, our 4K disc with disc art, and our Blu-ray disc with no disc art. And then we have our inside artwork, so very nice looking. Okay, next up we have Jurassic World, great looking artwork, and there's the back. We open it up, the front and back together. Inside we have disc art for the 4K release. And no disc art for the Blu-ray release. And we have some inside artwork. So really nice. Okay, next up we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Here's the artwork. In the back. We open it up, we have the front and back together, disc art here on the 4K disc, and no disc art on the Blu-ray disc, and inside artwork, so another nice looking still book. Then we have our last still book, Jurassic World Dominion, great looking artwork, here's the back. Open it up. We have our front and back together. Um, we have our disc art here on the um, 4K release. And no disc art on the Blu-ray release. But we do have some inside artwork. So another nice looking still book. So I always get pretty nervous when it comes to these um, releases with the still book sets. Usually the um, container has got dents or dings in it. Um, but overall, this one is in pretty good condition. I think I saw one ding on it. Um, nothing terrible. 
but overall I'm really happy with this release um, I would definitely recommend it if you don't have these still books in your collection this is a great way to, of having the whole collection with a nice still book set please leave me a comment below let me know what you think about this particular still book unwrapping and also let me know which of the Jurassic Park films is your favorite of course the original is my favorite um, I'm a fan pretty much of all of them. They're all pretty good to me. I don't think that there's a bad one in the bunch, um, but definitely that first one is very nostalgic for me. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.